Hey everybody, so good to see you all out here. I'm going to just turn, uh, adjust this microphone for a second. <clears throat> okay. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Our government has betrayed us. Our so-called democracy has once again revealed itself to be a mirage. So here we are again, shoveling sand into our mouths where we thought we had seen water only moments ago. Water that we had hoped would quench our thirst for answers, our thirst for justice. Having crossed every I, having crossed every T, and dotted every I, having jumped through every hoop bound hand and foot by bureaucratic red tape in our effort not to change the laws of this land, but merely to demand transparency and accountability, we have received for our efforts a slap in the face and a kick in the mouth. Although 80,000 New Yorkers have voiced their desire in writing to include on November's mayoral ballot the referendum for a new and actual investigation into 9-11, New York City has responded by taking the position that it has no jurisdiction in that matter. No jurisdiction! No jurisdiction into the murder of 3,000 of its own citizens. No jurisdiction and no intention of seeking such jurisdiction. Bloomberg. Look at the lengths to which they have gone in order to evade allowing the residents of this city a chance to vote for answers and accountability. The lengths to which they have gone in order to slay the spirit of democracy using the letter of democracy. Our right to govern ourselves, our body politic right now hangs with bulging eyes and twisted mouth like strange fruit kicking its feet and gasping for breath from the poplar tree. While they send us off to kill and be killed in the name of freedom and democracy, and their unending war of terror, while they send citizens of this country into foreign lands to advance a shamelessly transparent geostrategic agenda, blasphemously cloaked and justified by the memory of 9-11 and the names of its victims, wars based upon lies that would not and could not exist had it not been for the new Pearl Harbor of September 11, 2001, while the specter of 9-11 is raised repeatedly, ghoulishly, dangled before us to justify the dismemberment of our Constitution, the trampling of our rights and our civil liberties. Questioning 9-11 itself, oh, that is strictly prohibited. Do you hear that, New York? Do you hear that, family members? Cops! Firefighters and first responders! Your government has just told you, again, again, that you were good enough to die for them, but that asking questions about the inciting event is un-American, un un unpatriotic, and quite simply just out of bounds. Traitors. Traitors! The morally treasonous treatment of this subject matter by our supposedly free press is something that we should be ashamed of and that we should demand a change in. Well, you know, it makes a certain sense according to a certain twisted logic because if the people's referendum were to make it into the new, to the november's mayoral ballot then the jig would indeed be up the indictments the arrests the perp walks the prosecutions the war crimes tribunals would be the least of this criminal government's worries because exposing 9-11 as an inside job pulls the plug on their whole macabre show of horrors both at home and abroad <laughs> And they don't want that. That's all I could get written this morning. But they don't want that. Because they're making way too much money on these illegal and unjust wars of aggression. They're loving the fact that they have eroded our civil liberties. That they're trying to take away our First Amendment rights of speech. And they are doing everything they can with crab-like sidestepping to prevent the people's voice. 80,000 New Yorkers representing the first responders, the victims' family members and people in this country and around the world who want to see a real, true, impartial, subpoena-powered investigation into what really happened on September 11th. Oh, we know what happened. We don't know exactly what happened, but we know it wasn't the lies contained in that uh, worthless piece of paper called the 9-11 Commission Report. Even 60% of the Commission members have said that their efforts to investigate 9-11 were blocked, thwarted, repeatedly. They were lied to by the CIA and by the government that the, the amount of information they were allowed to have access to was severely limited and curtailed. John Gold just did an excellent job of enumerating that, and I'm sure he could have gone on for hours.
So I'm going to allow the next speaker to take the mic, but thank you for having me here today. And never stop asking questions and demanding answers. Never stop. Never stop.